Welcome to Mastering UBS Accounting. This tutorial is on defining the opening balance. The objective of this tutorial is to explain how to set up opening balances in UBS. We'll be covering two topics, set up the financial year and enter opening balance. How you enter the opening balance depends on when you computerize your ledger in relation to your financial year. We'll be looking at two scenarios. Scenario 1 is when your financial year is from January to December 1999, for example, and you computerize at the start of the financial year. Scenario 2 is when again your financial year is from January to December 1999, but you computerize sometime during the financial year. In this case, we'll use July 1999 as a working example. Well, first of all, we'll look at the setup of financial year in relation to those two scenarios. Before you set up your opening balance, you need to define into the UBS software the, your financial year and the current period in relation to your financial year. To do that, select Housekeeping, Run Setup, General Setting. If your financial year is from January to December of the year, you will set your accounting year to be from the 1st of January 1999 to the 31st of December 1999. Now the starting and ending period, a closing period, defines the start and end of your computerized ledger for this financial year. So if you computerize at the start of the financial year, your start period will be 1. But if you start in July, for example, then your financial period will be 7. Once you've defined that, you can then select OK and this will save your setting and you are now ready to define the opening balance. Next we'll look at entering the opening balance. If you computerize at the start of the financial year, your balance sheet as of the end of the last financial year may look something like this. For example, your trade data balance may be six thousand dollars and your balance in the bank account could be five thousand dollars and the stock amount of $500. And your capital is $10,000 and your retained earning is $1,500. The total amount comes out to $11,500. Now before we do your opening balance, we'll first of all go into housekeeping, run setup general setting and check your setup just to make sure that's correct. Now in this case, the starting period is set to 1, which is correct because you're computerizing at the start of the financial year. So we cancel out of here. Now to enter the opening balance, go into General and select Enter Opening Balances. Now as per example, our capital has got an opening balance of $10,000 and the retained earning is $1,500. Now, as for our debtor's account, Centronic has an opening balance of $6,000 and we've got $5,000 in the bank and the stock value of $500, giving a total of $11,500. You can exit from here. Now, to verify your opening balance um, data entry, you can go into Report and Run Balance Sheet. And for period 1 and you see that the amount here in terms of your data control which was only one data which is Centronic so it gets rolled right into your data control account of $6,000 and your bank $5,500 so this is per what you've seen at the start of the uh, tutorial as per example and you can exit from here now you can also verify your entry by running a trial balance report for the same period. Now here you see the individual breakdown as we have entered before. So 10,000 capital, 1,500 for return earning, 6,000 for your data control which you only make out of Centronic, 5,000 for your bank account and $500 for your stock. So you exit from here. Cancel. If you computerize sometime during your financial year, say for example in July, the trial balance as of the end of June of your financial year may look something like this. 
you have your normal um, capital and fixed asset type accounts and your balances but on top of that you also have your operating expenses right up to June of your financial year so that will include sales type of account and your purchases your rental and your salary now before we enter the opening balance once again go into housekeeping run setup general setting we just want to check to make sure that your setup is correct now in this case the accounting year has been defined from the 1st of January 1999 to the 31st of December 1999 but the starting period is, that is defined as 7 which is correct because we are computerizing in the month of July so you cancel from here now to enter the opening balance select general enter opening balances now on top of the standard um, accounts that we've done when you computerize at the start of the financial year you also be able to bring up the income and expenses type account so you click on what's income and expenses and now you see the additional income and expenses type account um, been displayed so as per our example our sales has got a balance of $20,000 and the purchase purchase balance is $17,000 and our rent is $1,200 and our salary is $1,800 and that brings up the total balance of $31,500 and you exit from here when you're finished now when you're going to report and generate a trial balance now in this case for a period of July 7 you will see on top of the um, balances that were defined when you computerize at the start of the financial year you also see the additional in income and expenses type account which is 20,000 for our sales 17,000 for purchases 1,200 for rental and 1800 for salary keeping the total of $31,500 as we have seen in our example Congratulations! You now know how to define opening balances in UBS